This is a Microsoft Surface laptop and the windows on this Microsoft Surface laptop need to be reinstalled. Right here, I have the Windows 11 installation USB that I downloaded from the Microsoft website, the official Microsoft website. Plug it in. And to boot from this USB to reinstall the Windows, I have to press and hold this volume down button. And while doing that, I have to press this power button once to turn on the laptop while still keep holding the volume down button until I see the Windows logo and until the laptop boots from the USB. You will see that there's like a circle loading bar or something that indicates that the laptop boots from the USB and then you can let the volume button go. All right, let's do that. Press and hold the volume down button. Press the power button once to turn on the laptop. Boop. Keep holding the volume down button. You see the Windows logo. Keep holding the volume down button. Keep holding it. Don't let it go until you see that circle loading bar right there and let it go. And there you go. The laptop now boots from this Windows installation USB and the Windows is ready to be reinstalled on this laptop. And I have a problem here. The trackpad and the keyboard doesn't work. I feel like Microsoft is intentionally not including the keyboard and trackpad driver into their Windows 11 or Windows 10 installation media. I never have this problem while installing the Windows on any laptops. Um, either Dell, HP, MSI, Acer, Asus, never have that problem. And also Apple. Whenever I install the Mac OS on Apple, the keyboard and trackpad always working. Alright, enough complaining. Um, to fix this problem, I have to use an external mouse and external keyboard. This Microsoft laptop only have one regular USB port and one USB-C port. My keyboard and mouse wireless receiver only using the regular USB. So I have to use this USB-C to regular USB dongle to connect the wireless um, receiver for my keyboard and mouse. There you go, let's see, plug it into USB-C port. There you go. Now we have a functioning keyboard and mouse. Yeah, the trackpad doesn't work. Wow. All right, let me use my external keyboard and mouse to finish reinstalling the windows on this Microsoft Surface laptop. Another bad news here. Not only the keyboard and trackpad doesn't work because Microsoft doesn't include the necessary driver on their Windows installation media, The Wi-Fi also not working. This is a Bluetooth, not Wi-Fi. Because Microsoft doesn't include the necessary driver for the Wi-Fi to work. So I will have to use this USB Wi-Fi dongle thing 
so I can connect to the Wi-Fi and update the Windows or update this laptop so it can get the appropriate driver or necessary driver for this laptop to work. Wow, 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 wow. Microsoft. I just connected the USB Wi-Fi thing. As you can see right there, TP-Link wireless USB adapter. Now let's update this Windows so it can receive the appropriate driver for this laptop to function properly. If you already have Microsoft Surface laptop, I highly, highly recommend you to get an external keyboard, external mouse, a USB Wi-Fi adapter, and also maybe a USB-C to regular USB dongle, just in case if there's any problem with your laptop or with your Microsoft Surface laptop, it will be much, much easier for you to fix because Microsoft. The Windows update is finished. I'm going to unplug this USB Wi-Fi adapter and the wireless keyboard and mouse. And let's see if the keyboard and trackpad and also the Wi-Fi is working or not. The trackpad works. Let's close this one. And the keyboard works. And let's check the Wi-Fi. And the Wi-Fi also works. There you go. Don't buy Microsoft Surface laptop.